Hello everyone, this is Lorraine from Card Creations and I have for you today another Christmas card that I'd like to share with you. And we'll go ahead and get started and I'll show you how I put this together. I have two samples here of the different bead swirls that you can purchase to add to your card. This one is, came in red and this one's in the just silver and then I added some additional uh, little beads to give it a little bit of color. Alright, so we'll go ahead and get started. The cartridge that I used for this is the Flower Shop cartridge and I'm going to go ahead and point out the images that I cut to make this poinsettia flower. The first petal, that I, well actually you'll need three of these petals. Set them down here. Okay, and they are the four flower petal, which is this button right here, this one here, and you'll cut two of these at two inches, and then another one at one and a half inches, so you'll have a total of three, just like I have here. Then you will need five of these leaves down here at the corner bottom right hand corner and you'll cut this at one and a quarter inches then you'll need a center section for your flower which is this one here and it's the sixth one to the right one two three four five six I'm just checking to make sure I have that correct okay and those are the items that you need to cut your flower now I first inked the edges of my petals and then I went ahead and adhered them together with the two the same size and then together and then the smaller one on top and then I just staggered them like that so that you can get some dimension to the to the flower and this is what it looks like when it's all put together and here's my five leaves and we'll go ahead and add the leaves to the back of our flower. And I'm just going to add the flowers like in between the back petals. One more to go. Okay. All right. We'll go ahead and set that aside and we'll start with our, go ahead and proceed with our center section of our flower. And what you do is, this is a, an old quilling tool. I used to do the quilling uh, paper craft and it has a little slit in the middle. If you don't have this tool you can use a toothpick and then you'll just roll it all the way to the end till you get to this section here. You'll add glue to that and um, glue your item together, your little center flower. And once it's glued you can just spread out the center petals to uh, give it a little bit more um, fluffy look. Okay, so then the next thing we'll do is go ahead and add adhesive to this section and stick it in the center. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set that aside and let it dry. And the cutout on my card, um, I've showed you how to do that, so you just uh, refer to my video on how to cut any shape on the front of your card. I'll go ahead and post a link uh, under my video so that you can have access to it fairly quickly on my blog. So we're going to move on to our card and I've cut my image or my oval out 
already on my card since I already have a video showing you how to do that. I'm not going to do that again. And we'll go ahead and add our inside mat. Now a tool that I will be using is the Stampamajig and I really like the Stampamajig because you're able to line up your sentiment right exactly where you want it. Now um, my one of my cards that I did uh, didn't line up quite right so I went ahead and cut an oval shape and put it on top of my error. So if you don't have a stamp -a jig that's one way to go ahead and save your card from having to discard it and start again. So uh, that's just a little tip I have there for you. Now, uh, I actually want to do my add my uh, poinsettia onto the front of the card. That way I'll know exactly where to position my uh, sentiment inside. Now, you can curl the leaves on your flower to make it a little bit more dimensional. I do that right after I get my center piece glued and that way it doesn't look so flat. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now we'll go ahead and add adhesive to our poinsettia. Now I've tried to attach this with uh, my ATG and that doesn't work so I'm going to go ahead and use some of this Tombow adhesive. Do that. I can add that right there. What's the matter baby? Huh? What's the matter? Come on. Come on. Little doggy. He's like, Mommy. Okay. So we'll go ahead and use our stamp -a jig Oops, that's not quite dry. I'm going to hold that down. And I'm going to show you how I do this. I go ahead and stamp my image or my sentiment on my, stamp, on my uh, clear piece that comes with your kit. And... I actually put this here first, stamp it, then this will allow me to, did you, I hope you got that in the picture, let me just, I think I was out of the camera view, so you, you go ahead and add your corner piece and put your acetate piece right in this corner, you stamp your image, then you go ahead and open up your card and find out where you want this to be on the inside and that looks perfect right about there and I'll go ahead and lift this up let me just check it one more time I think I moved it okay open this up ah! what am I doing? okay let's try it again All right. I have a trick. Hold on just a second. I want to get my Sorry, I took off and didn't complete my sentence, but uh I use my Cricut mat to hold my card in place. So since this is sticky, it holds my card in place, and I don't have to worry about it shifting on me. And uh, not only does it hold my card, but it holds my imaging sheet for my uh, step jig. So then that way I can come in here and put that exactly where I want it. Now I'm going to go ahead and stamp up or ink up my stamp. And I'm using the Momento Tuxedo Black ink. That's my favorite for sentiments and for using with Copic markers. So, doing that. And these are the 
uh, stamps that require a certain type of block and I don't have them all so I just put a piece of ATG and then adhere my uh, sentiment to the block acrylic block and that seems to work pretty good for me so now I'm going to remove the imaging sheet and stamp this right at the top corner and I'm just making sure that I'm not stamping it upside down there we go and now we have it perfectly aligned for our front window the last little bit that we need to do is add some bling and here I have some just little rhinestones and you can since I'm making a lot of these cards uh, I'm not going to add too much of this because it does get a little pricey so I'm just going to peel that off I would like to add more but I'm just sticking to this section right up here at the top right hand corner here we go and now we can peel our card off our Cricut mat and there we have a lovely card Christmas card using the flower shop Cricut cartridge thanks for watching